Glory. Glory. Amen. <clears throat> I just want to just and, you know thank you all for joining us today and uh and I want to also invite you to join us in the morning again for a time in the word on intercessory prayer in the morning at 10:30 a.m. Amen. That's that's Alabama time. Whatever just just the time zone at Alabama. I think it's Central Standard Time. You can check it out for yourself, but we're going to be live in the morning at 10:30 a.m. and I'm asking all you that can to join us and allow God to speak to your heart and that we will begin to pray and intercede for the Florida area. I see that there's three hurricanes that is coming, that is that is headed toward the land right now. So folks, uh, we need to pray and I'm asking you all to join us in prayer. Amen. Let us come in agreement and let us begin to speak the word of God concerning this thing. Because God is looking at us, the body of Christ, how we going to react. Remember, folks, we are not fighting against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers, and against the rulers of the darkness of this world. It is doing its job. The thief come not but for to steal, kill, and to destroy. But Jesus said, I come that you may have life and that you may have it more abundantly. So people's lives are being threatened by this by this uh this, these storms that is that is brewing out in the Pacific and that is headed toward the land. And people, we're the one that God has given the power over all the powers of the enemy. You know, God don't, is not causing these storms to brew and causing them to rise up and causing them to to come across land, destroying the land. Amen. God said in the book of Ezekiel chapter 22 and verse 30, And I sought four men among them that should make up the hedge and stand in the gap before me for the land that I should not destroy. And he said, But I found none. Now, folks, that should not be the case today. We should all be willing to pray and to and to do our part as a child of God. Amen. So I'm I'm encouraging you. Let us come together. Let us unite together and let us pray. Let us bombard the kingdom of darkness and let us push the the principalities and the powers back from their position. Amen. Let the world see that the God that we serve, he is all powerful. Let us join together and let us pray. Amen. And even right now, let us do it. Not just in the morning. Amen. But let us agree together. Let us agree together. That's right. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you. Amen. Let us agree together. Because you see, if you lived in that area, you would want people praying for you. If, you, if your uh, home was in danger of hurricanes and, 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 and destruction... You would want people praying for you. Amen. I know I would. And I know those people in that area, those people that live in that area, they are having to evacuate that area because of the danger that is approaching. And folks, and I know that is not a good thing. So let us come together. Let us pray like we've never prayed before. And let us, let us begin to, because like I said, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principal. This is a, this is this is this is spiritual things that cannot be seen with the natural eye. And God wants to do something. He wants to do it now. Amen. He wants to do it now. Amjad, how you doing? Glory to God. God wants to do it now. And I'm asking you. I'm asking all of my all the prayer warriors. Amen. That if you would take time and pray for the area where these three hurricanes are coming across the Pacific Ocean. 
Amen. And they headed toward land. And we as a people, we as a people of God have an obligation to 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 come against, to stand against this thing. Not to come, but to stand against it. Amen. God said in his word in 2 Chronicles chapter 7 and verse 14. <clears throat> if my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, he said, then I will hear from heaven, I will forgive their sin, and I will heal their land. Thank you. Amen. Thank you all for praying. I believe that God, that God is looking for someone that's going to be faithful, not someone that's just going to say they're going to pray and not pray. God is looking for someone that's going to pray. Amen. Not just say it, but also do it. Amen. So let us, let us do it and not just be, not just be hearers of the word, but let's be doers of the word. Let us be doers of the word because it's the doers of the word that get the results. The God kind of results. Amen. So let's let's do it. Let's pray. And let's ask God to uh, cause those storms to cease their activity. Let the elements of the air be still. Remember when Jesus stood on the side of that boat and he he was in that boat asleep and the disciples woke him up and and he said, Where is your faith? O oh, ye of little faith. And then he looked out. And he said, peace, be still. Amen. And there was a great calm. A great calm. God has given us the power over all the powers of the enemy. According to Luke chapter 10 verse 19. Amen. He's given us power over all the powers of the enemy. And God is saying to us today, if my people, which are called by my name, would humble themselves and pray, and turn from their wicked ways. Then I will hear from heaven. I will forgive their sin. And I will heal the land. How many of you know the, the, the land is, 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 under, is under siege right now by the enemy. And we are the people that God is looking at. Amen. You might say, well I am a woman. And, I, and, and who who going to listen to me? Well, if you're a woman of God, the devil's going to listen to you. Amen. If you're a woman of God, the devil's going to listen to you. He got to. Because, see, you carry the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You are a vessel. You are a child. You are a chosen one. Amen. And whom God has called, whom God hath called, he hath also empowered. Amen. For as many as believe on him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God. Amen. So I was looking at the news and I saw those three I saw three hurricanes coming toward land. I said, Oh my God. And it looked like a fourth one trying to come up behind those three. But I believe that we as the children of God, if we stand our grounds, that we can see the power of God manifesting on the behalf of of the people of the land. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stacy, you got that right. You got that right. Glory to God. That's good. Amen. 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 You see, I have people want to pray right now. Amen. How about you all? Do y'all want to pray too? Are you guys interested in praying? Because you see, those people that are in trouble today, they need your prayers. If you were in trouble today, and they was not in trouble today, you would want them to be praying for you. So, let us pray for them. Amen. Are y'all ready to pray with me? Amen. Glory to God. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. And, Father, as we come together in agreement right now for the land you said that you were looking for a man to make up the hedge and stand in the gap before you for the land that you would not destroy and father we realize father that it's the enemy that is destroying the land 
But we also realize, Father, that he wouldn't, it, it couldn't happen unless you allow it. Because you're God. You created it all. You are, just like you allowed Satan to interfere with Job's life and took away his family and he and brought him to a, a bed fast because of the sickness and the balls. God, I know that just like you restored everything to Job, you can restore this land. And Father, I'm asking right now in the name of Jesus Christ, because you have given us the power over all the powers of the enemy. And so, Father, you told us in Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 10, you said, Finally, my brother, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. And you said, put on the whole armor of God. That you may be able to withstand in the evil day. And having done all to stand, stand. Father, we take that seriously right now. And we take a bold stand. We take a bold stand against the kingdom of darkness. And against the principalities and the powers. Father, we are fighting the good fight of faith. And we speak the word. Father, we declare right now in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. That the kingdom of darkness that is raising up his head against America, Father, has to cease right now in the name of Jesus. Father, we cancel every demonic assignment against America. We cancel it right now in the name of Jesus. We command those hurricanes to turn around and go back into the ocean. Go back into the sea from which they come from in the name of Jesus. Father, we command the elements over those hurricanes to stop their activities now in Jesus name we declare peace be still in Jesus mighty name so God we declare it we believe it father and now God you said in Mark chapter 16 verse 20 that you confirm your word with signs following we believe it and so father we decree it and that settles it so God we expecting to see a miracle in the land because of these, because of what's going on, we expect to see a great turnaround in the land. In Jesus' name, we are that people, Father, and we are making up the hedge, and we are standing the gap, and we are walking in a total agreement. You said, "If any two shall agree," well, we are that people, and we do agree, Lord God, and we say it is done. Holy Spirit. Move right now in Jesus' name. Glory to God. Move right now in Jesus' name. And cause the people to come together and pray in agreement. I thank you for it and I praise you for it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And don't forget, tomorrow morning, we're going to be, we're going to be broadcasting live tomorrow morning. Amen. We are in Decatur, Alabama. Amen. We are in Decatur, Alabama at the Double Tree Hotel. We're going to be broadcasting live in the morning. We are going to be teaching on spiritual warfare, not spiritual warfare, uh, intercessory prayer. Intercessory prayer. Amen. And it and that's also deals with spiritual warfare. Amen. And so we want you all to join us in the morning. If you are in the area, if you're not at work, why don't you come on out and be with us at 10.30 in the morning. Amen. Come on out to the Double Tree Hotel in Decatur, Alabama and be with us in the morning. We would love to see you and glory to God. You will not walk out in the same way that you come in. God, I'm telling you, we have been having some powerful meetings. I mean some powerful meetings. Life-changing meetings. Amen. Been ministering uh, in Florence, Alabama with Pastor Elmer on a on, uh, Last night and tonight and this, this, this today and, and at 10 a.m. and tonight at 6 p.m., 6.30 p.m., we was here in Decatur, Alabama at the Double Tree Hotel. And boy, you talking about a move of, of God. It was so powerful. Amen. We had good turnout both services. And tomorrow is our third service. And we believe for a full house again tomorrow. Amen. And we're going to believe for a full house again on tomorrow night, the closing service. 
boy, it's been wonderful. So we're asking you all that if, if you are free, that you can come by and be with us tomorrow morning or tomorrow night at 6.30 p.m., tomorrow morning at 10.30 a.m., and tomorrow night at 6.30 p.m. Come on and join us right here in Decatur, Alabama, 6th Avenue, where you want to see, you want to see the power of God? Come on out and be with us because God is here. Amen. We love you guys. We thank you all for joining us. And for those of you that was with us today, you blessed my heart. You came out and you supported the ministry. Amen. And I'm so thankful for you. God bless you all. We love you guys. We're praying for you. Amen. 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 That's right, Geraldine. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Why don't you come on out, Geraldine, and be with us tomorrow evening, tomorrow morning, or tomorrow evening, or both, tomorrow morning and tomorrow evening. Amen. If you can. God bless you all. Have a wonderful day. And I'll see y'all soon. Love y'all. Bye-bye. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God.
Who's Michelle Dobbin? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I see now. Oh, she liked my message I just did. Deborah DeVore did too. Stacy K. Safe. Who is Stacy K. Safe? You think so? I'm going to find out in just a second. You know so? I'm gonna f it looks like it might be for someone to look so fat. <laughs> that guy. Happy anniversary, Bobby. I don't tell me who they is. Let me go to about, see if they gonna have any information there. Okay, the mobile number is 256. Yep, that's Alabama. I'm about to pee on myself, honey. Nope. So you can go check on her? I will. Are you in that big a hurry? She'll be there in a minute. She's not going to run out of there. So you want me to stop what I'm doing and go do it now? Because I turned the temperature up to 70 or 75 or something. Because I had to sit down in front of that thing to study. Yeah. 
there you go. Excellent.